Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and Ramadan Mubarak. I can't believe that Ramadan is already here and tonight we'll be praying Tarawih and uh, from the first day of Ramadan is tomorrow. I'm so excited. But before that, I need to do some last minute Ramadan prep and Ramadan decor, decluttering, everything of that. So I'll take you guys with me because um, yeah, that, that motivates me. And also to show you what I will be eating and my plan for Ramadan this season. So first off, I will be uh, finishing the Ramadan decor I started on today. Uh, and that will be a banner where it says Ramadan Mubarak. And declutter my room because that's a mess that I've been ignoring for way too long. And also my routine for Ramadan. Uh, will change completely. I will have a lot of tests and stuff. I have zero energy when I come home from school. Uh, I don't have the brain power to do physics and chemistry when I come home. So I'm thinking this Ramadan to do my homework and my tasks for school after Zuhur, after Fajr, and just stay up and sleep after I come home from school. But I am extremely bad at sticking to routines, so we'll see how that goes. Without further ado, let's just get started with the Ramadan decor. Now I have 14 pieces to make this banner, and uh, now I will trace all the letters that I need on these darker blue papers, and cut them out, and then I'll glue it to these. Just a little update, I've made almost all the, uh, all the letters, I just need to make the B and the K. Right now I have laid all the letters out and the background of the banners. I also brought my crafty box and I'm thinking of bedazzling it a little bit so it looks really pretty and aesthetic. I don't have regular glue at home so I'll be using hot glue and for this step if your child um, get an adult to help you if you also use hot glue if not that's okay and also when you're cutting out please get an adult to help you because yeah I don't want anyone to get injured <laughs> by doing this. Right now I've just set up this little station I have the hot glue here I have the bedazzling set here and I have all the letters right here. So I'm just going to start with from the from the bottom and then I will go to the first letter. So what I will do is to put a small little dots here, 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 and here. Put this put all the letters on first and after I've done all the letters I will do that bedazzling part. To get the most out of your Ramadan, it's important to have goals. And I think this year my goals will be to read the Quran and pray five times a day, which should be a goal regardless it's Ramadan or not. People think that Muslims fast in Ramadan to feel how the poor has it, but it's not just because of that. We fast because the Quran was sent down to us this month and we find it very holy, so we show our gratitude by fasting and that is mainly why we do that so I really want to embrace my Deen and I can't wait for Eid I am really looking forward to it and I tried the dazzling it it doesn't look that cool but yeah it's the first one look at this all right I just finished bedazzling them and putting all the gems on and this is what it's looking like so now, so now I'm going to go get some strings and attach it to it and then I'll show you the results. You guys, here is the finished result. It's all hanged up. Hello guys, just a little update. Uh, I just set up the Ramadan Park banner, which I just showed you guys. You know how I just said that I was going to clean my room and stuff? Okay, I'll clean my room, but that will be off camera. I won't, I won't clean my wardrobe today. I don't have time for that because it will be Maghrib in not that long. And I have a candy, so I'm going to make some Bulgak ramen. I think I'll be Tarawi at the masjid since it's the first day of Ramadan. Alright, 
it's finished and I'm just going to top it off with a couple of chili flakes. I was a little bit hungry so I made creamy cheesy samyang noodles. I'm going to give this a taste test. Mm, it's actually really good. I put in less spice this time and I put in some heavy cream. I highly recommend that. Try it out. I'm just going to finish the rest of it off camera. I'll just show you guys some books that I will be reading this Ramadan, which I'll be studying and using to get uh, closer to my deen. This is the first book. It's called Ihya Ulum al -Din. It's written by Imam al Ghazali and it's a summary of, I think, 40 books. And this is the book you should get if you're getting any of these books. This is the most important one. So I really recommend this book because not only does it tell you the rules but it also tells you how to purify your heart. This book it's called Muhammad is life based on earliest sources. It's written by Martin Lynx. It's basically Sira of the Prophet and it's yeah it's everything you need to know about our prophet. This book is more a woman throughout the history and Islam. But I really recommend this because people think that women are oppressed in Islam, which is completely not true. It's not true at all. So I recommend this book. These two books, uh, if you're uh, looking to memorize, you have like one ayah every day. You have these QR codes, which you can listen to while you're reading. Uh, lastly, I have been using this Ramadan journal the past two years. I haven't gotten one this Ramadan yet, but I think I will get that. The Quran is the most important book of them all. I just got ready for Tarawi. As you guys can see, it's the same one I was wearing earlier. Wow, you're going to Tarawi also? Yes. Wow, you look great. Thank you for Did you put on some oud? Yeah. Right now we're waiting for the metro to go to the masjid. Uh, I also found out that my bestie will come, so that's really good. We're finally at the mosque, it's beautiful. So I'm finally at the masjid and I'll meet up with my friend. And I want to show you some of the decor the kids made for the masjid. And I'll pray tarawih and I'll see you guys after that. with the rabbi and I'm feeling sore in my back, my hands, my fingers, everything. And I'm almost home. I'm just going to go up the stairs now. All right, uh, I'm finally back home and I think this is it for this vlog. It was super fun to vlog. I haven't done this in a while, to be honest. And I'm pretty new to YouTube, so please support the channel, subscribe, and click on the notifications if you haven't already join the family and uh, stay tuned for the other vlogs that will be up on my channel shortly if you want more long-form videos like this just comment down below and i'll make them stay safe and ramadan mubarak again and i'll see you the next time